In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to navigate through space and time with Ancient Earth. Here's the typical startup view when you first run Ancient Earth. You have a map of the globe and you have a geologic time scale at the bottom and you have a few controls at the top. We'll explain some of the other controls in other videos, but right now we're going to focus on navigating through space and time. Navigating through space, in other words, looking at the globe, is very easy. The primary way to move the globe is with your finger. Just drag it across the screen and the globe will move. So you can look at different parts of the Earth. You can look at Africa, Asia, Australia, and so forth. But there's a few other things that you may need to be aware of. For one, you can also scale the maps. If you want to have a closer look, you can use the pinch motion to get a closer view of the map and you can use the pinch motion to get it back down to the standard size. If you get lost, which can easily happen if you're working uh, deep in deep time where your position is on the globe, you can double tap the screen and it will go to the zero zero point. In other words, it will center on zero degrees latitude and zero degrees longitude. Now you may uh, want to have a little bit more visual cue, you can actually change the grid we have here. Uh, I have a 30 degree grid on this, so it's 30, every 30 degrees latitude, every 30 degrees longitude, and you can change that to something that makes a little bit more sense to you. For example, you can set it to 10 degrees, or you can turn it off altogether. I prefer the 30 degree grid. That's the basics of navigating ancient Earth itself, in, the, in terms of space. But now we also have this time scale on the bottom. This is our control to get us through time. To move us through time, all we need to do, if we want to go backward in time, is drag the time scale to the left. And you notice the map on the globe has changed. It represents whatever time period the time scale has snapped to. We move, if we want to go forward in time, we just drag it to the right. And notice that on the time scale, there's these little black triangles. The black triangles represent where we have a high quality map representing that time frame. And the little white triangle we can also see there is showing us where we are along the time scale. And if you notice, it will actually snap to the closest map. Now the time scale itself can have a varying degrees of uh, resolution in and of itself. For example, if we want very little information about the time scale, we can just drag the time scale with our finger down and we get a very simple version of the time scale. If, however, we want more information about the time that we're looking at, we can drag this up. And you can see we have far more information from the geologic time scale. Now notice that some of these um, items in the time scale are abbreviated. To resolve that, you can change the size of the triangle using the pinch motion within this time scale. So we can pinch out, which will give us um, much more um, uh, finer resolution, or we can go more coarse and we get a lot more abbreviations. There is one more control here that's important to be aware of, that you can actually just move one map at a time. That can be quite important if you're looking for a little bit of fine grain control without having to drag the time scale. And also it's important when you have very, very small time steps. Here we have a map that's at 10 million years um, of age. The next map to the left is actually not zero. There's actually two maps hidden uh, in that last triangle on the left. There's a zero for today. And there's also a 23,000 year map. And sometimes it's kind of hard to get to that map simply by dragging because it's a very fine scale uh, difference between 23,000 and today. So what you can do is double tap. If you double tap on the left side, you advance the maps in terms of time to a younger time period by one step. So double tap, 
Now we're at the 23,000 year map. We double tap again. We're now at the present day map. To go backwards in time, you double tap on the right side of the time scale. And you go one step and one step only. That's the basics of using ancient Earth in terms of navigating through space and time. We'll produce other videos which will include using the bookmark features, plate blocking, and using the built-in GPS on the various iPhones and iPad devices. Thank you.